Hi, my name is Keith Long, and I am a senior product specialist at Shimatsu Scientific Instruments, working with our lineup of TOC Total Organic Carbon Analyzers. In this video, I will demonstrate how to resolve poor reproducibility for replicate injections of standards or samples using the TOCL instrument. It is very common in TOC analysis to perform multiple injections on samples, then report the average result from those replicates. Ideally, the CV values for replicate injections should be below 2% RSD. If you start seeing samples with CV values greater than 2%, then action should be taken to remedy the situation. Most times, poor reproducibility is the result of something going wrong with sampling or the sample introduction into the combustion tube. With regards to your TOCL instrument, this would include anything before the combustion tube. The four most common problems are clogged ASI needle or pinched sample line, worn out syringe or syringe plunger tip, worn out eight port valve or valve rotor, sample not being injected straight down onto the catalyst bed in the combustion tube. This video will address each of these scenarios in more detail. It is possible for the ASI needle to become clogged or for the sample line from the needle to the valve to become pinched or loose. This would prevent the instrument from pulling in a full syringe of sample for analysis, which in turn could lead to inconsistent volumes of samples being injected into the instrument for each replicate. To troubleshoot this scenario, you can perform an analysis from the offline port. This refers to sampling from the tubing connected to port number one and not port number two, which is connected to the ASI. You can put a sample next to the instrument and place the port number one tube in the sample and run an analysis. To bypass the ASI portion of the flow path, make sure to select Vial Position 0 in the Vial Settings window. If you get the same poor results as when you were using the ASI for sampling, then the ASI needle and tubing are not the issue and you need to check elsewhere. If the results are good, then the issue was the ASI needle or tubing, so those parts should be removed and cleaned or replaced. A worn out syringe, syringe plunger tip, eight port valve or eight port valve rotor could also cause poor reproducibility. If the syringe and valve are not sealed correctly, then air will be pulled in as the syringe and valve move. This will cause errors in consistent sampling and failure to inject a consistent aliquot of sample into the combustion tube for each replicate injection. The recommended replacement frequency of these parts is determined assuming the instrument is being used all day, every day. The syringe itself should be replaced every two years and the plunger tip every six months. The valve rotor should be replaced every year and the entire valve every two years. If these parts have not been replaced according to guidelines, replace them before attempting any more troubleshooting. Finally, the last thing to check to resolve poor reproducibility is how the sample is actually being injected or introduced into the combustion tube. A sample needs to be injected straight down the tube so that it does not hit the walls. If the sample is sprayed in an outward pattern or at an angle, then carbon will stick to the tube and be oxidized at different rates, leading to very poor reproducibility. There are two ways to check the sample injection pattern. First, you could look into the top of the combustion to see if it is injecting correctly. The second way is to pull the slider off the injection block and do a test injection through the mechanical check window. Hold the slider over a small beaker. The instrument will pull in an aliquot of dilution water and do a few injections through the slider, enabling you to visually check the injection. If the sample is not being injected correctly, then check the position of the sample tubing relative to the slider and reposition as needed. Also check for a salt buildup in the tip of the injection line and try flushing the line with water to remove any debris. If all else fails to remedy the poor injection, then replace the sample injection tubing. That should resolve your reproducibility issues. For more information on Shimadzu TOCL analyzers, visit www.ssi.shimadzu.com. Excellence in science. Shimazu.